Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Today we're going to be going over higher order functions in Python. Um, so what is a higher order function? Um, so technically it fulfills these two criteria. Um, it has to be uh, a function that takes a parameter that is a function or it returns a function. Uh, the function itself returns a function. And if you want to learn more about the really like nitty gritty of um, what a higher order function is, I definitely recommend you checking out the Wikipedia page. There's a lot of really great information there. There are really three key higher order functions that we're going to be talking about today and that are really ubiquitous when you're out there programming and uh, you can probably use these day to day. The first one we're going to talk about today is map, and map really what it is is it applies a function to every element in a list. So to get started, we're going to need to find some function, um, and to do this, uh, we're going to import operator, and we're just going to have a list uh, that uh, we're going to be working with. So what that operator uh, uh, library module that we just imported does is it has a series of functions within it. Um, so it has this operator add function and what we can do with operator add is we can add two numbers for example. So it effectively does the same thing as this but it gives it to us as an actual function instead of uh, this plus that we see here. So this is actually a function that takes two parameters um, and uh, has all the properties of a regular Python function. So we have this list over here, L, that contains all of these elements uh, so 1, 2, 5, 2, and 12. What if we wanted to add 1 to all of the items in that list? We can use map. And what we can do is we can do map uh, uh, operator uh, so we're going to do uh, we're going to need to have a function that's called plus 1 So uh, we're going to have to have a function that we create that will be mapped to everything. So in this case, let's create a function called plus one. And what this function will take is just a variable x and it will return x plus one. And what we can into this function is so just to show you what this is doing uh, we can do plus one uh, five or four and it'll return five so now that we have this function that we've defined here we can apply this function to every element in this uh, list over here just by doing this plus one We'll see in Python 3, there's a little bit of an interesting thing that occurs when we map. It returns this uh, map generator. Um, if we want to see all of the items in that list that uh, was in L1 with the added one to each element, we would do it like this. So we'd have to wrap it with a list. And this is a Python 3 thing. Uh, and the reason that map returns this map object instead of a list right off the bat is because Python does some optimization so it runs faster in this situation. Um, you can learn more about that uh, at this Stack Overflow post that I'll uh, post in the description. 
Um, but just to show a little bit more about this, uh, so we can turn this into a list, right? And it will have uh, all the items that we were expecting, that's correct. Um, but And we can loop over this list, right, for i in, for let's say, uh, m in print m, it will print everything in this list. But it would actually work as well if we uh, didn't put that list right here. But the interesting thing is that it would only work once because the generator can only be, uh, oops, sorry. So this worked twice. What we'd actually have to do is we'd call this uh, mapper, or let's call this mappy. This is the result of the map. The reason it worked twice there was we actually called map twice. Um, you'll see that once, so if you read through this post, you'll notice that uh, for a generator, uh, we can actually only loop over it once. And um, for your use case, that might be enough. Um, but uh, just generally, if for the results most people are expecting, uh, just wrap your map your map with a list and it will be in the way in the format that you want it. The second higher order function, so that was the first higher, higher order function map. The second higher order function we're going to talk about today is called reduce. Uh, reduce is sometimes it's kind of hard to describe. Um, it's sometimes called fold and sometimes called aggregate. I think aggregate is a really great description for it. So pretty much what it's doing is it takes one function and it applies it repeatedly throughout a list. A really great way to just see what it's doing is um, just by showing it. So first we're gonna have to import reduce from func tools. Uh, you'll notice that for map, we didn't have to uh, import anything. That's just because map by default is included in the Python uh, namespace for uh, reduce, we're gonna actually have to import that. So now that we have reduce, we have, we have this list up here and we can do reduce, uh, let's do operator dot add uh, L2. And you'll see what it did was it just added all of the items in the list. We can also do operator.mol. You'll see it multiplied all the items in the list. And we can also do operator.sub. I think this is a really great one because it shows the order of operations of how Python went through and executed this reduce operation. So we got a negative seven. So that means it started with this one, it then subtracted five, and then it subtracted three. Um, I think that's really great because you could think it, maybe it did things in the had, we didn't necessarily know what order it started. Maybe it started in the back and then it went back to the front, uh, to the front. but with sub, it's really clear that it starts with this one, then it subtracts five, and it subtracts three. So it goes in this order. So that's, in essence, what reduce does. It takes this function, sub, and just to show what sub does one more time. And it applies it over a list. It aggregates it. Um, the next higher order function that we're going to be talking about is called filter. And what filter does is it returns all of the items in a list for which the function is true. So to get started, let's we just created this greater than five function. And 
what they will return is true or false for uh, any parameter that's given to it. So for example, it's two, it's not greater than five, so it returns false. So now we have this list of three. And what we can do here is we can do filter greater than five, so this is the name of the function, followed by the list that we're applying it to, L3. So this also returns this filter object, and we can get it to be in the format we want it to be just by wrapping it with a list. So here we go, we have, we returned six and seven, and those are in fact the only numbers in L3 that are greater than five. So that is, uh, filter. So um, earlier we kind of talked about how uh, there's really two types of functions that uh, follow this criteria. One is the function that takes a function as a parameter and the other is the function that returns a function. The func so for a function that returns a function there is actually something called a, a lambda expression in Python um, so um, you could imagine that uh, the operator uh, library, um, so let's just see what functions uh, are included in the operator library. Um, let's do Python 3. Um, so it has less than, it has less than or equal to, um, it has equal to, not, uh, but what if, this operator library didn't have the function that we were looking for. For example, um, what if we needed a function that uh, divided by two and then added one? So we could write the expression here and um, uh, it would, um, create a function here called divided by two uh, plus one. So just to show it one more time, so we could create a lambda expression right here, lambda x, so it takes the parameter x and it just, uh, let's say adds one uh, and then divides by two. So this one will be a little bit different. This one will be plus one divided by two. And this returns an actual function. And we can do uh, plus one divided by two is equal to this. And then we'll actually have this function here. And we can call this function on parameters. So this one added one and then divided by two. So then if we took one of those lists we had in the past, like this one, we can do uh, map, so list map plus one divided by two, L, and that will add one to all of the items and then divide it by two. So that checks out. So, Here's a quick overview of higher order functions with Python. The big takeaway is higher order functions take functions as a parameter or they can return functions. And there's three really great functions. Map, that applies a function to every element in a list. Reduce, that aggregates a list by using some function. And filter, that returns all of the items in a list that meet the criteria for a particular function. Um, all of this code is going to be available right here on this intermediate Python uh, GitHub repository. Um, I can actually just push it up right now just so you guys can see that it's all here. So um, I'm adding it right now. Adding uh, higher order functions. If there's anything that was confusing, confusing to you guys, um, please let me know. Um, I'll, I want to make sure this 
content is as clear as possible. So give me any feedback. Um, yeah, so you can see here, this content will all be uh, available right here. So you can take this Jupyter notebook and mess around with it. If you guys don't know how to um, find, uh, install Jupyter notebooks, I'll have a link to that in the description below as well. Uh, thanks. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys use these higher order functions. Um, they're pretty sweet.